Over the years, we have heard story after story of how women have fa faced breast cancer and overcame it. We've talked with representatives from organizations that help support those brave women through their journey. And we've talked with doctors about the therapies and treatments that get women and some men to the point where they can say their cancer journey is over. But today we want to talk about a procedure that can be a final step in that journey. In fact, it can make breast cancer survivors feel whole again, maybe even sexy. It's called nipple tattoo. We visited Village Spa and Salon in Lewis to see how this cosmetic procedure is also healing the heart. I have them lay down here. Um, it is heated, so that helps. Corey McGee of Village Salon and Spa in Lewis is a medical tattoo artist. You get really emotional, mm -hmm. um, especially hearing a lot of the uh, awful stories that, they, that they've gone through. Those stories come from breast cancer survivors who, after a mastectomy and reconstructive surgery, are seeking to have an areola and nipple tattooed on the reconstructed breast. But after living without any, for a few months they realize, you know, they, they really would like them to feel whole, you know, to, to feel like a woman. Corey previously worked in permanent cosmetics, but when she learned of medical tattoos for breast cancer survivors, she knew immediately that she wanted to do it. Uh, I did some research. I found who I thought was the best in the country, and I uh, took her class at Penn Med. Before considering a client for the procedure, Corey meets with them for a consultation. I don't do anything uh, six months uh, after their last surgery. Um, but if it's within the first year, I do have to have a doctor's note. She's able to match the skin tone of the client using a combination of five colors. And the spa setting is perfect for privacy and comfort. You know, we're in our separate rooms. Um, you know, I, that way I can lock the door. When you go to a traditional tattoo um, shop, a lot of times they don't have separate rooms. They just have like little cubicles. Mm -hmm. So this is nice since, uh, you know, they're pretty exposed. Some clients who come to Corey come with apprehension. They're scared um, because they get scared of the word tattoo. Um, so, you know, it is a tattoo. I have had a lot of people that don't have any, um, but, and, and they're scared that it's in such a sensitive area that it's gonna hurt. Um, nine times out of 10, they don't have any feeling anyway, and I tell them that. Um, but if they do, I do have numbing. Corey says this point in the breast cancer journey can be an emotional one. All of my clients have cried afterwards, which then, you know, makes me cry. And it's just, it's incredibly rewarding. You know, they don't, I think my oldest client was in her 70s and she'd been waiting 40 plus years. Um, and I finally gave her her first tattoo. And she just said, in the 40 years, she never felt comfortable around her husband. So that's really upsetting. But now I was able to give that back to her and providing a joyous end to a journey no woman should have to take. And Corey says some doctors perform nipple tattoos, but says they are often not very realistic looking. And she says she's fixed those tattoos to make them look authentic. Also, nipple tattoos for breast cancer survivors is covered by insurance.